The new series, Good Omens, is all about the end of the world, and it's hilarious. <laughs> it revolves around an unlikely friendship between an angel and a demon, played by Michael Sheen and David Tennant. Well, it begins all the way well, back at the beginning, with Sheen wondering if he made a mistake by giving Adam and Eve a sword after they were kicked out of the Garden of Eden. I do hope I didn't do the wrong thing. Oh, you're an angel. I don't think you can do the wrong thing. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's been bothering me. And I've been worrying, too. What if I did the right thing with the whole eat the apple business? A demon can get into a lot of trouble for doing the right thing. It'd be funny if we both got it wrong, eh? If I did the good thing and you did the bad one. <laughs> no. <laughs> Michael Sheen, David Tennant are with us this morning, as well as John Hamm, who plays the angel Gabriel in this series. This is funny. But here's the thing. It's about the apocalypse, but it really seems like it's sort of this, this buddy comedy <laughs> but, between an angel and a demon. Yeah, well, they should be on opposite sides, but yeah. they sort of... <laughs> come to love each other. Really. A celestial odd couple. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They've been around for so long since the Garden of Eden on Earth that they've come to kind of fall in love with humanity and yes. the world and a little bit with each other, maybe. As well. yeah. We've also got to discover that they really quite like the mortal world mm. and that they don't want it to go up in, a, in a, 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 a ball of flame in the apocalypse, so they have to set out to avert that happening. Yeah. And work with each other, even though their respective... Uh, head offices think that they're <laughs> head office. that's this guy yeah uh, so this is my boss the angel gabriel yeah yes yeah even though even though the, even though the, the head offices seem to want want conflict th these guys are, are set to avoid it it's uh, it works as a as a metaphor i think for for much of what's going on right now <laughs> And, Michael, you were originally approached to play the demon, but then, David, they said, no, 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 we want you to have it now. Is that a good thing? Well, it was... It was I've known Neil Gaiman, who wrote the book that this is based on with Terry Pratchett. Uh, I've known Neil for years now, and we've become friends. So when he started to do the adaptation for TV, originally we thought that I would play... We, I would play Crowley, but um, the demon. But we both kind of realised that that wasn't a good idea, that I was <laughs> much more suited to, to playing the angel. And then it meant that we had the opportunity... I was very uh, happy for to Mr. Sweet Tennant. And take that. <laughs> <laughs> Most rule, yeah. That's right. and, and, John, this is like kismet in a way, because you say this book was the first book that you voluntarily read. Yeah, it was the first book that I read oh, that where I wasn't uh, assigned it. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, it was, it was the first thing I sort of read out of uh, sheer joy of, of reading something, uh, a narrative that I found uh, challenging and interesting and fun and, and smart. And uh, so it was, it was a seminal book in my kind of... Uh, growing up, and so to get the chance to work on it, and, and and my character's barely in the book; it's just sort of tangentially referenced. But I was uh, Neil adapted the script, so he he made a made a little more of a of a meal for it for me, and uh, yeah, I basically play the idiot from uh, the idiot boss that everyone has had at some point in their life. <laughs> Who doesn't get what you're doing and and wants to just make fun of you? So, I think yeah. I, I think I pulled it off. You do it so well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pratchett I, I passed away a few years ago, but as I understand it, this was literally like a dying wish that, yeah. that this be turned into a series. They tried to get it made a few times as a mm -hmm. feature film and in various other versions, and, and it, it never quite happened. So Terry said to Neil, I, I believe, as he was dying, please get this made, please mm. make wow, put this on TV. So Neil Gaiman who spends most of his time writing best-selling novels, had to put everything on hold and, and make sure that this uh, made it to the screen. Which he, So he wrote the script, he was the showrunner, he was there on set every day, and, and he's, he's been very much the midwife to the whole thing, yeah. An amazing cast here, too. I mean, you've got Nick Offerman, Benedict Cumberbatch, Francis McDormand. I mean, there's a, a, a murderer's row of great stars. Yeah. Well, I think uh, the, the book is so beloved by, by so many people. Uh, and everyone sort of wanted to get on board and be a part of it. People that you would never think would come on and do just a, you know, a little cameo role. Because it was for Neil, uh, they came on board. And you actually filmed it two years ago. Is it fun to finally see it? We started in the fall of 2017 yeah. and finished in the middle of 2018. So yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 there's a lot of elements to, to kind of, especially in post-production, yeah. you see there's so much... Uh, 
you know, the visual effects and whatnot. I mean, we go from the Garden of Eden to Shakespeare's <laughs> Globe for uh, the original performance of Hamlet yeah. to Noah's Ark. I mean, it's yeah. everywhere. There are spaceships, there are Kraken coming out Do you have a favorite the time period that you guys went back to? Well, there's a, in episode three, yeah. the first half of episode three, yeah. just each scene is a different period in history showing how our relationship mm. has developed. And that was great fun, dressing up and seeing what... So there was one, one scene where we're both in sort of Arthurian yes. suits of armor, suits of armor. Which was quite funny. Yeah, well, I don't know how many were fought war in that. <laughs> <laughs> they are practical things to get home in. How anyone left the house, let alone in the back. Yeah. It's, it's called Good Omens. It premieres May 31st only on Amazon Prime Video. Oh, we're back. John Hamm, Michael Sheen, David Tennant from the new Amazon Prime Video series. It's called Good Omens. We're going to learn a little bit about each other here. We, we do this thing that's called Fun Fact Friday. We do? Yeah. It started on Instagram. <laughs> it started on the Instagram page, third hour today. And, and so we brought it over to TV. All right. Yeah. Don't oh, make... Because you guys want to know so much about us. Yeah. Well, I'm you guys, have, you guys have to do this every week? Every yeah, Friday. Yeah. Fun Fact yeah. Friday. you got to run up fun fact. Yeah. To be true, today. we just started this. Uh, <laughs> okay. so this will be the inaugural last one. Boy. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to go first. Uh, uh, my first car was a 1962 Dodge Dart. A black Dodge oh, Dart with a push button automatic. Oh, you got a push button <laughs> suspension. I used, to, I used to mow the lawn for a neighbor, and he had That's one on blocks. Wow. And in 1972, he asked me what I was doing for a car for the summer. Was that the actual car? That was not the actual car. I was going to say, that thing's a really beautiful yeah. shape. No, but uh, it was on blocks. My dad and I fixed it up, and I drove it for like wow. three years. Straight six. That's yeah. awesome. That's what Don't the engine was it? in that car. That's right. How about you, John? Uh, mine is uh, going back to my very first acting job. Uh, my very first acting job was playing Winnie the Pooh Aww. in my first grade production of Winnie the Pooh. Ah. <laughs> Tyson so, Roll. Yeah, I was, yeah. I was, was the lead. I was the lead. Uh, there, there actually exists some Super 8 footage of this. That will never see the light of oh, day. Oh, that, I, that's a I challenge. Have, that's what I you thought. Uh, John, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically of, it's no sound, but it's of the moment where we're, we're all finished and we're all taking a bow, and whoever was playing the owl uh, tried to get in front of me, and I was like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is not for you, my friend. Oh, I wish we had We that. learned a lot about me yeah. all the way back when I was five. John, him is Winnie the Pooh. I Dylan. Think. Hey, good money, see you. Uh, so mine seems weird now. Um, <laughs> so my dad and I were in the backyard once, and we found an acorn that had a strange hole in it. So we decided to keep this acorn in the family, and it's become this thing that my dad and I, over the years, will randomly gift each other. So at my rehearsal dinner for my wedding, I gifted my dad the acorn. And then at my son's baby shower, he gifted the acorn back to me. So it's just this random oh. acorn oh. from our backyard. How long ago? I mean, 20 years ago, we wow. found the acorn. And that didn't we... fall far from the tree, did it? <laughs> hey from, thank, from little thank acorns, you, great fun facts grow. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Michael? I'm so glad we did this. Yeah. Your turn. Uh, my fun fact is that my great-great-grandmother toured the U.S. as an elephant and lion tamer. Is that true? What? That is absolutely really? true. Really? Michael... Is absolutely it true? true. It is absolutely true. I uh, I did one of those shows where you go back through your history and they tell, uh, and it's on there, so you can you can verify. verify. It's a wild animal. And in fact, she had she was mauled by one of the lions, and it was a legend that in our family someone had the claw of the lion on a chain. And at my mum and dad's uh, golden wedding anniversary, a long lost cousin came and said, "Michael, I have something <laughs> for you. I have that." That claw on a chain in my house. Wow. Wow. Well, it's not an acorn, but... That's a good... <laughs> yeah, it's no acorn. Yeah. That's a crazy <laughs> story. Right? Right. Just right. the claw of the lion wow. that mauled your great-grandmother. That's, that's wow. less a fun fact, more a fun mini-series. Our, our, <laughs> guests, our guests have taken Fun Fact Friday far more seriously. Yeah. Than yeah. Man. Okay, you're, I mean, got, you're up now, pal. I got not... I mean, Pressure. they gave me a, a box of cards because when I was a little boy, I took magic classes because I, I thought I might want to be a magician. <laughs> And I, t I probably took a half dozen classes, and my dad made me stop because apparently becoming a magician is very expensive. Uh, really? and, oh, yeah. And, and you have to like, buy the supplies. Uh, wow. So, a lot of gear. I, that, I don't know why they gave me the cards. I don't remember oh, anything. I was wow. <laughs> well, between, between the magic tricks and the violin, it's amazing you got dates at all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Al Roker, Al Roker, he's a national treasure. <laughs> Frequently, I find him just to be a jackass. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. I and there it is. Oh, yes. There we go. Yes. That was coming. Oh, oh, oh. It's never late. Oh. It's never late. David, never take us home here.
here. Never David. Save me, David. <laughs> What's your fun fact? My fun fact is some, probably the thing I'm most proud of in life, that on not one but two separate occasions, I have featured on a United Kingdom's postal stamp. What? Wow. Wow. Twice. 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 For the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who. Oh, wow. And for the anniversary of the Royal Shakespeare Company. Wow. Oh, there it is. There you go. Wow. That's amazing. Well, yeah. just bragging. No kidding. Uh, it is a bit, a bit of a Frady brag. <laughs> that's, a yeah. that's a different <laughs> segment, isn't it? Well, yeah. That's not a that's fact. Awesome. That's a fact. That's a brag. Yeah, yeah. It is. That's fantastic. <laughs> not even a humble I brag. Love just a straight straightforward, full-on brag. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Do any stamp you win. collectors actually? Is that a prized possession that some stamp collectors need this stamp it, with your face it on it? It should be. I can sell them some at a very competitive <laughs> price. How does the back of your head feel about being licked so much? <laughs> it's delightful. And on that note, guys, <laughs> thank you for being here for this Fun Fact Friday. you got to come back every Friday. <laughs> a reminder, Good Omens, it premieres May 31st, Amazon Prime Video. We'll be right back. What do you think?